All right, here we are. We're going to be changing the evaporator coil in a water furnace. Uh, it's a four-ton geothermal, uh, four loops in the ground, 200 foot deep. It's zoned. How many zones is it? Three zones. Three zones. So it's not going to be fun. So we're going to get it taken apart and uh, get moving on. All right, so I've got the blower motor and the heat strips out. Uh, there's the actual coil right there. What I'm gonna have to do, uh, yeah, as you can see, you probably can't see it here, but there's a free, uh, Freon streak there, 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 right there. Um, what I had to do is come around where the humidifier was and right there, screw, a screw, a screw up there, and uh, three more screws on that side, and uh, take those screws loose, and hopefully that thing will pop out of there. Uh, over here is the the new evaporator, and uh, I'll get those screws taken out and see if we can't get this thing loose and the new one in. All right, so I got the coil out. There it is on the floor. Um, there's a new one. And like I said, I, I was able to get, thank God I'm small, I was able to get through that hole right there and just reach and get those six screws out. Uh, let's see, I had to loosen these. Screw there, screw there. Screw back in the back. And screw up here. Push that down so I can get the coil back in without denting her all up but that is it we'll get this coal in and uh see if we can't get everything put back together i uh, cut the lines back there taped them off and uh the less heat back there the better off all right i got the uh coal all screwed in i got her welded up put a piece of metal back there to protect the insulation Put a piece of metal down there, protect the pan if anything fell off. One little thing did, so good thing. I didn't want to buy a pan for this unit. Uh, but we'll get a vacuum pulled on it and uh, get her charged up. And then put the blower and heat strips back in it. Get her wired up. Alright, I'm outside. I'm waiting for the vacuum to be pulled, but there's his uh, lake view. And the loops are actually under the concrete. So he, was, he said he needed to pour dry, his driveway again. So when they did the geothermal, they busted up all the concrete and there the loop set. All right, so I got the blower motor and the electric heat strips put back in place. Uh, the way to pull the blower motor out, the housing, is that screw, that screw, and that that screw. The three screws, and then on the back, there's three studs, and you just lift it in there, push it on the studs, lift it up, and uh, put your uh, three bolts back in place. Same thing with the uh, electric heat strips. All right, here we go. We putting free on it. Uh, it says it needs five pounds, three ounces. And it's not taking long. I had it pumped down to uh, 420 microns, I think. So, we're getting close. Alright, so here she is running. Stuff's already moved back and she's uh, doing what she's supposed to be doing. and. Um, uh, I'm going to actually move that humidistat right there, put it upstairs, put a relay in so when it calls, I'm going to put a digital uh, EWC humidistat in, so when it calls, it will bring the fan on and, because right now it's in the, in the basement, and so it's sensing the humidity down here. Okay, anyway, alright, well this is it.